Hi, now here we have an example on the newton raphson process, okay? And uh, if you're not familiar with the newton raphson process, there's plenty of tutorials on my website, examsolutions.net, that you can check out. But uh, if you haven't had a go at this question, would like to do that, just pause the video now and come back when ready, and you can check your work solution against mine. Okay, welcome back if you had a go. Well, what we've got here is that f of x then equals x to the power 4 plus x minus 1, and we're told it has a real root alpha. And taking 0 0.75 as a first approximation, we've got to apply the newton raphson process twice to f of x to obtain an approximate value of alpha. And we've got to give our answers to three decimal places. So the newton raphson formula, just as a quick reminder, you should be familiar with this, it's generally in most formula books, but it's always good to remember it, and that is that if you're finding an approximation to a root, x subscript 10 plus 1 say, it's equal to the previous approximation minus f of that pro previous approximation divided by f dash of that previous approximation. Okay, f dash of x being the first differential of f of x. All right. So, to start this then, let's just copy down what f of x is. So we've got, first of all, f of x equals x to the power 4 plus x minus 1. So we're going to need to find the first differential of it, okay? And if we differentiate this in the usual way, we're going to get 4x cubed, and then differentiate x, you're going to get the 1, and the constant is 0. So if we take our first approximation, let's call it x1, let's say let x1 be that first approximation, we're going to say it's 0 0.75, then we can use a typical scientific calculator, say, to work out what the other two approximations are going to be, x2 and x3. And there's a quick way that we can do this. You should have seen it before in using iteration. What we do is we can just enter in our first approximation, 0 0.75 in this case, 0 0.75, and press equals, and that is stored then as the answer here. So we clear the screen and we enter newton raphsons formula. Only in place of any x, n, we just enter answer. So we start off with answer and then minus and then we've got this fraction here so we'll set up a fraction and then f of x subscript 10 is just entered as answer to the power 4 plus answer minus 1. So we've got answer to the power 4, and then we just move the cursor forward, and then plus answer, and then minus 1. And now we need to just push this down to the bottom, so I've just used the cursor movement there, and we've just got to enter the first differential of f of x, which is this one. 4 answer cubed plus 1. So 4 times the answer cubed and then plus the 1. And so when we press equals now, we'll get the second approximation. So I'll just press equals, comes up as a fraction. Let's turn it to a decimal. So we've got that as the decimal. So if we enter that as 0.724, five two nine zero and so on then this as three decimal places is going to be 0 0.725 to three decimal places 3dp and now for the final approximation just press equals again on the calculator and we've got 0 0.724499 and so on and so this rounded to three decimal places is going to be 0 0.724 to three decimal.
that small place is 3dp. Okay, so I hope that's given you an idea then how you can do that, especially on the calculator by the quick method of using the answer key.